What's up, everyone? So today we have a comment from or a question from um, Irie, who's uh, been basically a, a watcher the entire time I've had this channel. Uh, phenomenal uh, commenter. So um, I say the risks if you do a job that is only dealing with disputes or sysadmin type work. Uh, does that actually break any laws? After all, if you work only on the technical side of things, then you would not be actually selling or otherwise dealing with le illegal substances yourself. Uh, at that point, you're basically looking for looking at the same concept as working for a shady employer in any other industry. Can uh, law enforcement hold you responsible for your employer's actions? If you did not do anything illegal yourself, uh, what would they actually charge you with? Tax evasion? So this is a pretty good question. Um, the thing is, like, when you're dealing with the feds, um, what makes sense is, like, out the window. Um, so it depends on the United States attorney that you're dealing with. It also depends on, you know, whoever... Whoever, like if you, you know, did you get arrested to a rat? Did you get arrested? You know, how, how did you get caught? Um, that matters. And, you know, at the end of the day, are you going to tell? Uh, because a lot of times, like if you are, it's a downward departure. You're still going to get charged um, and you'll probably still do time. But like at the end of the day, it's not going to be as much. Um, and, you know, good, you know, have fun with that. Uh, being in federal prison, I uh, was snitch jacket. Um but basically, to answer your question, like, yeah, it's it's illegal. Uh, it's absolutely illegal. Um, and it would be a conspiracy charge. And the reason it would be that is because at the end of the day, you're participating and making money on something that's illegal. And even if you weren't making money on it, you're still there. You're still participating. So the fact of the matter, how they look at it um, is that you're, you know, you're involved in a, a conspiracy, uh, a criminal conspiracy at that. And, you know, like, I mean, we saw like, you know, the the RICO uh, law that, that came into effect that basically, you know, crushed a good portion of the mob and be like, oh, the mob's still alive. Like, well, you know, it's not this, what it was back then. I think I think everyone agrees with that. Um, but and like, you know, I, I know a couple of, uh, you know, New York Italians um, from inside there um, <clears throat> and they're great people um, but to, you know, to expound on that, like at the end of the day, so we saw like Oxy Monster um, ended up getting 20 years. It's like, that's what it is, you know, especially like when they have, they have that actual evidence to back it up um, where they can look and they can show, you know, logs or they can show, um, you know, that like you're, you know, they can log into your account, uh, that kind of stuff. Like, absolutely. Um, like you're going to get, you're going to get hit. You know, um, so, yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely uh, it's some they they will charge you with conspiracy and you, you know, will get a good amount of time. Um, if nothing else, they definitely don't look at it like, you know, you're working for a shady employer. Um, they look at it like you're a member of a active, you know, criminal conspiracy. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> that's what you are. That's what you're doing, you know, Um and like, you know, it turns out they're not, they're not too big of fans of that. So, um, I find that in a lot of cases, um, you see less of, you know, an example made, um, in terms of, you know, amount of time that someone gets when someone's just a dark net vendor, you know, um, and you see like even less time people get when they're a buyer. Um, so aside from that, you know, if they, if they wanted to charge you with tax evasion, they, they you know, could, if they could, you know, obviously prove that you were evading taxes. Um, but other than that, what they might charge you with instead of tax evasion, uh, would be money laundering. Um, which is, it's a little bit easier, especially like if they, if they, you know, they grab your computer, they have your setup and they can see like your wallet, stuff like that. They can see it, you know, moved around. Um, you know, but you're not going to be you're right. You're not going to be paying taxes on that. So they might go for that instead. It's really at the end of the day, it's up to the United States attorney. Um, it's not, you know, it's not up to the FBI or the which, you know, I don't even worry about them. But it, like it's 
it's like you know the the Department of Homeland Security. It's not up to them. It's not up to the law enforcement. Um, what your charges are at the end of the day. Um, it's up to the prosecutor, which you know federally would be, you know, the United States Attorney. So they're going to be the one to decide what those charges are, um, which is you know it's never fun. Um, a lot of those. You know, a lot of those people are miserable um, from, you know, my point of view. You know, I haven't seen many happy ones, you know, even when they win. You know, you can see, go look up a press conference with the United States attorney. You know, they just, they never really look like happy people, <laughs> you know. Um, it's just, you know, the job gets to them or whatever. But I hope that answers your question. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.